Yeah! Hola gang, welcome to the chat. Let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me. Go ahead and uh, tell me what your life is like. Share it with me. Hey, Taylors, Meat Locker, Out Fan, Happy Pop Tarts. Awesome. Uh, vengeance. I love you too, man. I really do. Right here. I think I saw Patty somewhere in here. Becky? Monster? Eric? How y'all doing, guys? Albert! Oh, it's always wonderful. My poo is always wonderful. Thanks for asking. Jake? Good seeing you guys. So, we're going to go ahead and do this for about an hour. And uh, see what's up. I'm doing good, Jake. Thanks for asking. Uh, Kyle! Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you watching my videos it makes all the difference Michigan video maker Austin hello 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 so basically on the agenda tonight we have Gabin and I've got a A&W mystery box that uh, they sent me it's not like a regular mystery box like the Degust box or anything like that it's just a package that they sent me and usually they shoot me out a message on Twitter and let me know that something's coming no message it just showed up in my email box USPS said you got a package coming from A&W and I said I wonder what this thing is um, am I married Taylor yes I am I am <laughs> out fan it I don't know why don't you come over here and sniff my bathroom dude Alfredo, how you doing, man? I got some tea tonight in one of my favorite mugs. Check out my Disney mug. Uh, I actually found this at a thrift store. It's an official Disney mug. Mickey's on there, too. Um, and I got it for like $3.50, $3.50. It, it, like I said, it's an, uh, an official Disney mug that I got at uh, Value Village for like three and a half bucks. It's pretty cool. Um, Nancy, how you doing? Yes, A&W is awesome. Albert, why don't I ever show... Well, you've seen my son. My son has been in a, a few different reviews with me. And my son... Or my my son has been in a few different ones. Uh, his wife has been in a few different ones. My wife has been in one. It was the Krispy Kreme donut from way back when. Um, Tom, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'll tell you, Vengeance. This is actually, I, I thought I'd try this. I, I do not remember where I got this from. This is called Yorkshire Tea. And this is a favorite of one of my favorite uh, Twitch TV streamers. Squirrel, who broadcasts and streams all kinds of uh, simulation games, primarily Euro Truck Simulator, American Truck Simulator, and he does like Farming Sim and Bus Sim and a whole bunch of others, but those are the two that I watch is the Euro Truck and the American Truck. And I saw on, a, um, on his Instagram that he was talking about this tea and I'm going I think I have some of that so I went and checked my my cupboard and sure enough I had some Yorkshire tea so I was just trying it tonight uh Patty well it's it's 8 p.m. my time what's it what time is it over where you are 8 p.m. is not I mean I'm old and 8 p.m. is not old or, or late to me um Albert, um, I'm do I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. I, I don't do as many fast food right now. 
primarily because I, I'm getting boxes from these different places and products and I just kind of want to mix it up instead of just being a channel that does purely fast food reviews. I mean, there are a lot of those out there, enough of them. Oh, 12 hours a day for oh, Tom. That's crazy, Tom. 12 hour day. That's nuts. Oh, 11.10. Okay, so no wonder you're saying it's late, Patty. It's not late here. It's just late there. Um, Santi. What's up, Santi? How's that? Santi Claus? Okay. I will drink some Yorkshire tea if it's going to make your day. I, I've never had this before. This is my first time trying it. Vengeance is turning 21 tomorrow. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah, Meat Locker, those cricket chips were definitely interesting. Um, like I said, they weren't bad. They were just not my cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is good. I like this. This is It's very smooth, very subtle tea. It, it doesn't... Usually tea tends to give me some acid going on. This doesn't seem like it's going to. Um, 810 there in Vegas. Yep, same time here. Vegas, Vegas. What time is it there? 8 p.m., 810. Um, Albert, you keep asking me to be your dad. I'm not. I have one son. He's 28. He's moved out. And I like it that way. Thank you. Ricky, uh, Jabba Palooza, um, somebody asked me that last time. Did you ask me that last chat? Uh, I don't have anything planned right now, but I'm sure there is one coming up. I mean, I love coffee, so why wouldn't there be? <laughs> no, I didn't know that meat locker. That's really disgusting. Okay, yeah, okay, Ricky. It was somebody else who asked me about Jabba Palooza. Like I said, one coming up pretty soon. Um, speaking of my son, he just got back from Hawaii last week. He and his wife went on vacation for a week in Kauai. And he brought me back something that I think I may do a live review next Saturday. This is called Ed and Dawn's Macadamia Pineapple Brittle right there. Sounds interesting. Um, not that much for peanut brittle, but this is a pineapple brittle, and it's macadamia. I love macadamia nuts. He brought uh, me back, uh, me and my wife back, a whole box of chocolate-covered macadamia nuts, and then I asked him to bring me back something so I could review it, and that's what he brought back. So um, I think I'll do that next Saturday. In and out, yes or no? Um, in and out burger we don't have up here. The closest one is down in California. But I've had it. Uh, took a trip down to Disneyland and ate there just for the sake because I, I was here and everybody rave about In-N-Out. So I went there and loved it. It's really good and really cheap too. That's really nice. CR125STIN. I don't know how do you pronounce your name, but how you doing? Scott, how you doing? Thank you, Eric. I appreciate that. Do I consider myself a foodie? I don't know. What do you consider a foodie? Somebody who likes food? Yeah, I like food. Um, but I don't know. I guess there's def different definitions of a foodie. Um, no, I... Um, OSU fan 69? No, I do not. Um, I'm not a drinker. Used to drink Coors a long time ago when I was young in my stupid years. Um, and I, I'm just I'm just not a drinker. I, I think the most I ever have, ever have, is like a uh, strawberry margarita every once in a while. I love the frou-frou, fruity drinks. Your dog is playing with crazy bread from Little Caesars. Well, Albert... Your dog 
Has taste. That's pretty good stuff. Why is he playing with it instead of eating it? Brandon! Um, Brandon! I'm not going to get political. Just not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> Chevy Five Speed. I don't partake in the devil's nectar either. It's it's not that it's a, a, a bad thing. I mean, anything in excess is going to be a bad thing. Anything that you get addicted to or anything that can possibly be ex taken to an excess that can destroy your, destroy your life, and that can be anything, that's when it is a bad thing. Okay. Um... Uh, Ricky asks if my wife would ever be in a video. Um, I doubt it. She doesn't like being on camera. I've actually talked to her about starting her own YouTube channel because she's really into watercolor and she gets a lot of packages from Amazon. I've talked to her about possibly doing something with arts and crafts and possibly just doing unboxing videos and showing people the product and talking about it and then using it and coming back and say whether she likes it or not and and she's thinking about it. FNA F game Lava I like that. Shout out to you, buddy. Um He's throwing that crazy bread around the hallway. That's interesting. Um, Scott is addicted to video games. Like I said, I mean, I used to be pretty heavy into video games to the point where I started to, to neglect my family. And, and that's when it got bad. So I don't do as much anymore. Junior Martinez. Hi, buddy. Uh, how are you doing? Yeah, this is a shirt I got from one of the One Up boxes. Uh, like I said, uh, the the shirts are good from One Up box, but the thing is, they always do the same kind of template. They do three people doing some kind of activity. It, it, they never mix it up and do all kinds of other stuff. I always prefer the shirts from either Loot Crate or um, Geek Fuel. Taylor loves himself. Well, that's awesome. That's important. Thank you, Sandy. Hiroshi, be nice. I mean, you may think Ken is annoying, and there are people who like Ken and people who don't like Ken, and that's that's just a personal choice. But, you know, that's your opinion, and you're welcome to it. Um, am I getting a Switch? No, I'm not. I don't do consoles. Um... Okay, anyway, let's see what time is it getting. I don't want it to get too late. It's 8.18. Um, so I think that we should break into this package right here. I, I want to make sure um, that I get to everybody or try to get to everybody. It's really hard when you've got a lot of people in a chat room and they're all talking at the same time and things are scrolling past. If I miss anybody, I apologize, but I'll try and get to as many of you as I can. Batman. He's horrible and fake. This guy is real. Well, I, I appreciate the sentiment and I can't say anything on that. I, I just don't know. I just don't know him. Um, yeah, it is cool about the watercolors. She she does really good stuff. And the thing is, she's so, she is so self-conscious about it, she doesn't show it off, but it's good stuff. And, and she learned really fast. No, you did not mix, miss the unboxing. We're just about ready to do it. So I see that some of you are up late with me, and I appreciate that very much. I'm going to try a 1UP box subscription. Eric, they're pretty good. Um, well, they're not bad. Uh, if, if I compare them to Loot Crate or Geek Fuel, if you were to ask me what to get between 1UP box, Geek Fuel, and Loot Crate, I would say get Geek Fuel. My personal preference, I think the quality of the stuff is great. Their shirts are, are wonderful, just a wide range of all kinds of geeky stuff and nerdy stuff. And they just put good amount of stuff, 
good quality amount of stuff, some exclusive stuff in their box. So that's the one I would recommend, Geek Fuel. But, you know, you, you go ahead and try it. And, you know, you can always cancel after you try a box if you don't like it. And that's the cool thing about all those subscription boxes is most of them I've seen you can cancel if you don't like it. It's not like this contract type of thing. Uh, Francisco Gear asked Clubber Bar. Neither. I'm not a. I'm not a clubber. I'm. I, and I'm not a drinker. So. And I rarely go out. I'm an introvert. I like staying at home. Um, this is where I like to be. Um, Vengeance. What did you think about Alpha Omega Sin? Um, I'm trying to remember. I did go to his channel, and I did watch. A couple videos and I can't remember right now it, it I watch so much YouTube stuff um, Hiroshi says I wish I could paint and dress boxes and stick figures Tony now well, practice practice my friend do you get fan mail Albert asks every once in a while I do and and usually when I get it I show it off I haven't gotten any in a while so I haven't shown it off. Um, I love tea turtle shirts. They have funny shirts. I don't... That sounds familiar. I'm going to have to look them up. I think I've seen them. Um, Mac, Machiavelli? Is that how you pronounce it? They fired the manager at the In-N-Out Burger because he rubbed one... That's disgusting. That's really bad. Um, vengeance, like I said, I can't remember what Alpha Omega. I'll have to go back and look. Um, you're welcome, Eric. Introverts unite. Absolutely. Absolutely, Crank. Crank, Cranked Up Coffee Fan. Love the name. That's awesome. Do you have any pets? Uh, my son has a little dog, and you can see him in some of my videos. My Bully Box video, specifically, I reviewed stuff. He reviewed stuff from Bully Box, and um, he's he's just cute as Dickens. I don't have any pets personally. I don't want the hassle of having a pet. That it's kind of like having a a grandchild. You know, you can have them over and have fun with them and stuff like that, but. Then you send them home. And that's the way I like it. You should collaborate with Lamar Wilson, Tom says. I like Lamar a lot. And I remember getting that question from one of you if I liked Lamar Wilson. And I do. He is awesome. Um, he, you know, we, we kind of do different stuff. He doesn't do foodie stuff usually. He does, you know, techie, geeky type nerdy stuff. But I love his stuff. He's great. T-Turtle has geeky shirts. I'm pretty sure, Hiroshi, that I have seen them, but I'll have to go back and take a look. Um, okay. Rippy, how you doing, man? I have six cats. That's interesting. Never heard that one. Okay, so anyway, let's break into the A&W box. So you guys go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. This is what I got from A&W. They sent it express UPS. So it was like two-day mail. Um, and even though I opened it, I didn't look in it. I wasn't sure exactly who it was from at first. And then I pulled the receipt off, so it was from A&W. After I already opened the box, and I, go, I went, oh, can't look in here because I'm going to do this during the live chat. So I'm going to be as surprised as you are on this one. Your cat's breast smells like cat food sometimes. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Aren't they supposed to eat cat foods? Ah, Vengeance. I have heard of an ambivert. And yeah, my wife is an ambivert. And it it's, can sometimes get really confusing because you're kind of an introvert, you're kind of an extrovert, but you're never one or the other. Gets a little confusing sometimes. I, I am perfectly content to be an introvert. Absolutely. Um, Rippy, I did not... Did you eat your hair? I thought you were going to eat your hair after a certain amount of subscribers. Did you reach them? I didn't see you eat your hair. And Hiroshi has a cat on his lap. Awesome. What kind of cat? 
and Hiroshi is introverted. Okay, okay, Meat Locker. Let's find out what is in the box. Okay, first of all, we have... Oh no, I've got some pop stuff here. Is there anything in the pop or is this just filler? I think it's just filler. <laughs> I hope you're not wearing headphones. I love this stuff. No, there's nothing in here. This is just filler. Okay. Oh, let's see. Okay, it looks like there's a card in here first. Got a card with the A&W Bear. A&W All-American Food. Oh, wow, look at that. Two $5 bear bucks. So $10 in bear bucks. Thank you, A&W, very much. Uh, this will be reviews because I, I usually don't go and eat out without doing a review because I want to consider it an investment rather than just, you know, wasting money. Sorry about that bubble wrap, but I love bubble wrap. It's fun. Uh, Pop a burger and a float, Tony. I liked the teen burgers that they used to have. Those were the only burgers at that time in the burger family family that had bacon on them. Loved teen burgers. And and Rippy stressing out over the the bubble wrap. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Uh, what else we got in here? Oh, more bubble wrap. But there's something in this bubble wrap. Okay, I'm a little confused. Here's another card. I'm not going to show that off because I want to read the cards first. AW Academy Awards. So, Academy Awards Tweet Along. AW Restaurants cordially invites you to the inaugural. Academy Awards tweet along. Join us on Twitter Sunday, February 26th, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, and use the hashtag AW Academy Awards to play along. We'll be giving away AW prize packs throughout the evening. So there is that. There is the hashtag. And use that on Twitter on February 26th, uh, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern. And there's the hashtag, and there is their Twitter. If you're not signed up and following a and on Twitter, follow them and, and do that thing. That's kind of cool. Can you eat the bubble wrap and do a review on it? Sure, why not? Impromptu review. Tastes like plastic. It's, this, is, this is definitely uh, preservatives. Um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, fun fact, I f a, freshly, a freshly opened bag of Cheetos smells like a fart. Okay, well, I'll take your word for it. I don't think so, but I mean, maybe you have, maybe you have some fart flavored Cheetos. Okay, we're going digger, digging deeper. Oh boy, I don't see me wearing this. This is an A&W Bear bow tie this is a nice bow tie if you like bow ties this is authentic wow that's kind of cool but i'm not i'm just oh crap should i put this on okay i'll put this on i'll try hold on i'm gonna take off my headset okay i really don't need my headset anymore it was just mainly to cut out the sound from that music I can't see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get it in. That's what she said. The heck. Oh, okay. So it goes. It goes around front. I am not the most talented at doing this kind of stuff. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yes, Jessica, it does make me stand out. That's quite interesting. Um, but and I do have my A and W bear over here that they gave me a while back. I love this guy. Isn't he cute? 
He just sits over there on my shelf. I'm actually going to be getting some shelves that I'm putting up behind me uh, and putting all my stuff on there for background so I don't have the little background setting up. Well, thank you, Hiroshi. I appreciate that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a bow tie type of guy. Uh, do your next food review on a bow tie. I probably will. Um, okay. So let's move on. I'm going to put my headset down here because I really, like I said, I really don't need it anymore. I've got a poster. We're making our way toward a main event, whatever's in that bubble wrap. French fries as French fries. And Rudy the Great Root Bears Live and Let Fry. It's like a movie poster. Live and let fry. Dun, dun, dun. That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know where I'll put this if I'll put it up. I, I probably will somewhere. I'll find a place for it. Okay, so the main event is in this bubble wrap. Can you tell what that is? I see gold. Oh my goodness. I think it's some kind of mini mug. Um, apply it shipping deals. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Um, okay. We're still getting the... It is a mug. Yeah, the poster's kind of cool. But what is this? It looks like there's a design on it. Either that or it's just from the, the pop stuff. I think I need to clean it off, but I do see an A&W logo. It, can you see the logo right there? Uh, you can do see it very faintly. This is a, a gold A&W mug. I mean, it's definitely not for drinking. This thing, oh geez, look at the focus. This thing is pretty small, but it is cool. So it's a gold A and W mug. This is this is heavy. This is some kind of metal. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if it was gold? Real gold! They sent me real gold. It's awesome. Okay, so bow ties are cool. The eleventh Doctor didn't like the eleventh Doctor. I like the ninth. I like the tenth. Didn't like the eleventh. But you know, to each his own. That's very cool. That's very cool. Um, that is cool. Would probably keep your ice cream cold. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to fit very much in there. I mean, that's, that's not a lot of ice cream. That would be like a little mini float or something. I don't know. I, I kind of wish the logo stood out a little bit more. It kind of blends in with the rest of the stuff. But like I said, I, I think some of the stuff on here is a result of the bubble wrap. It being wrapped so tightly on the metal. So I'm going to wash this up and we'll see how it comes out. And I'll, I'll show you maybe next week. Tenth is my doctor. I know, Becky. I know. And I almost, almost got a chance to work with him. Uh, did you see the video? He got some kind of achievement award, totally unbeknownst to him. And it, the, the, the look on his face was just classic. He had no idea he was getting this kind of award. Um, but look it up. Uh, type in David um, Tennant uh, Award or something like that, and I'll bet you'll find it. Roses are red and violets are blue. Welcome to the Old Nerd Review. That's very nice. Did you just make that up yourself? That's awesome. Artie Aarons. Gold member would love that mug. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, I yeah, I really like this tea. I, I wish I could remember where I got it. I It was more than likely out of a food box. But I don't remember if it was a Degusta box. That doesn't sound right. So I'm not exactly sure. 
where it came out of. But this is this is a good tea. I like this. Noise. Hola. Noise. My son says that. Noise. So every time he says that, he's saying your name. No, you do not want to see me twerk. You are a sick puppy. You get too many boxes. No, I don't get too many boxes. I get just enough boxes. Um, I would get overwhelmed if I got too many boxes. Oh, you know what this did? Oh my, now I see why the weird designs on the mug. They shouldn't have put this in sticky bubble wrap. Look, can you, I don't know if you can see that. See the gold on there? They put the mug in a, a sticky, it, there's tape inside this bubble wrap and it actually took the, the finish off. That's what happened. Oh, that sucks. Um, do you shop at the dollar store often? Uh, depends on what I'm. I want. Um, I get the um, what's my call it? The the uh, spring spring rolls? No, not the spring rolls. I get the um, egg rolls pretty often at the dollar store. And uh, also the, the other things that I just finished reviewing just a while ago. Um, Keith asks, hey buddy, what's up? We're doing a live chat. Do you like Pokemon cards? My son used to be majorly into Pokemon cards. And I've got a couple just because they're my favorites. I like, um, I like Jigglypuff. He's groovy. Um, but I, I'm not really in them you're eating a box of boogers what you mean like those halloween gummy boogers yeah i reviewed those have i ever had an all-american thick burger um no i have not yeah so that kind of sucks i i yeah i mean can can you see it a little better see the gold that came off the mug that's why it's got little imprints and stuff. That's from the tape in the bubble wrap. Man, somebody didn't know how to pack this and they kind of ruined my mug. I don't know if that's going to come off now. I hope so. Um, Kathleen, hi. Tony, do you know if there are any more old-fashioned A&W drive-ins? Uh, yes, there are. Uh, there is one in downtown Portland where I've gone before. I've seen them around. They're rare anymore. Most of them are a combination A&W and KFC now. Uh, but yeah, there are some out there still. And I mean, there's always Sonic. You know, that's like kind of like an A&W drive-in. Why do so many of your reviews lack Austin Power impressions? Because I don't do Austin Power, Artie. Um, yeah, that does suck about the mug, Albert. But, you know. Hey! Hey! A&W, look! Somebody didn't know how to pack the mug. Can you send me another one, please? Like I said, I'll wash it and see if it comes off. Um, IHOP coffee sucks. I don't remember what IHOP coffee was like. I used to drink a lot of Denny's. Me and a friend used to go to Denny's like at, at 12 midnight and 1 o'clock in the morning and stuff. I better put this bubble wrap down. 1 o'clock in the morning and we'd sit for like an hour or two and just sit and drink coffee. And that's when the coffee was like a quarter and you got free refills. A quarter. Dig that. Um, I am a pancake psycho. I like pancakes better than waffles. My wife likes the strawberry ego waffles, but I like pancakes. Have you tried Smash Burger? No, we don't have any of those around here. Um, 
Who does number two work for? Are you talking the prisoner? Number six? Number two? Number two? I don't know. But I believe it's number six. And he... That's a great series. If you guys have never seen The Prisoner, it's a British series that started in the 60s. Man, that's good stuff. There's like only 17 episodes in the entire series, but it's great. Um, let's see. Somebody hates Sonic. Batman hates Sonic. Chevy 5 Speed, can you be my friend? I am your friend. I thought we were friends. Dude. Um, have you ever reviewed Sonic Food? Yeah. Uh, Alan, go ahead and check um, my Sonic playlist. I've, I've only done a couple. I plan on going back. It's, it's quite a distance away, so I don't go there an awful lot, but I need to go back for more because I like Sonic. Um... Chevy, could you make me Rice Krispie Treats? I made matcha tea Rice Krispie Treats. Check the um, uh, Old Nerd Kitchen playlist. I made some matcha tea, some green tea Rice Krispie Treats. Black Bear Diner. I've heard good things about Black Bear Diner, Becky. Um, I believe it's in Beaverton. Is it in Beaverton or, or Hillsboro? Or Aloha? It's somewhere out that direction. And I've heard good things about it. Shake Shack. We don't have any Shake Shack around here, Adam. Five guys we have. Eric has seen The Prisoner. Prisoner's great. Now, I'm not talking about the new one. I'm talking about the old one with Patrick McGowan. Um, your burgers are always dry. Well, that sucks. Don't take them back. Don't accept bad stuff. Make sure they give you what you paid for. Um, I have a Black Bear Diner. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to go out and try it. I hear it's really good. My, my brother-in-law just raves about that place. Um, Rippy says, try using nail polish to get the glue off. Now that won't take the finish off because, like I said, I don't know exactly what this is made of, but um, I'll look. I'll uh, you know whenever I'm trying to do something that I need to figure out, I always hit YouTube. That's the first place I ever found out how to tie a tie when I first started working on leverage because I had never tied a regular tie before. So I looked on YouTube, figured it out. Tony, have you, Meat Locker asks, Tony, have you ever had a pizza that had a legitimate cheese pull? Um, probably the closest thing I've ever had to that was something at Pizza Hut. So, yeah, it has happened. Your dad is a good man, Keith, for introducing you to the prisoner. Come to Georgia and try Blazer Hot Wings. I don't like hot stuff, Kyle. I mean, if they had regular chicken wings, like maybe a, a teriyaki or a honey glazed or something like that, I think I'd like them. I just don't like hot wings. Death Wish Coffee is being sold at Walmart. It is, Vengeance. I will have to check that out because I've been trying to get a hold of those guys to try some of their coffee for a while, and they just ignore me. Um... Andrew says, I'm thinking about donating. How do I do that? Um, in the chat, see that little uh, dollar thing? And you hover over it and it says Super Chat. You can do it right there. And what that does is it puts your comment also at the top of the chat for a certain amount of time. Um, let's see. Adam... Gooby Gone is magical, and what I'll have to check that out. I never heard of Gooby Gone. Um, yeah, Patty, that <laughs> you like that? I am officially the A and W mascot, the new one. 
Waffle House. I've heard good things about Waffle House. Um, Chevy, like I said, um, you can just hit that thing. Um, and I think I think it just takes you directly to a thing that I'm already hooked up through it. So you don't need to do anything. Um, Batman says, unlike Ken, you obviously don't care about your fans. Or you obviously do care about your fans. Yeah, well, you guys make it. You know, I can't speak for Ken. But you guys are what... Uh, without you guys, I'd be sitting here alone right now. Being, looking stupid with a and w bow tie on. You guys make my channel. You guys are important. Can you give my friend a shout out? His username is Alpha Kenny one underscore one so alpha kenny one how you doing hola dude to alpha kenny one looking forward to wrestlemania i'm not into wwe i'm really not i'm not into tna anymore either um roh is pretty good and um i i like the new um WPCW, I think it is, on uh, YouTube exclusively um, from over there in the UK. They, they have some good stuff. They have some good people. Um, okay, it's going kind of fast, so I may miss some of you, so I'm, I'm trying to keep up. I need to try that Naked Chicken Chalupa. Um, if you like spicy stuff, it's pretty spicy. It's surprising how spicy that chicken was. Um... Uh, let's see. Well. Okay. Let's do a little house cleaning here. And there you go. I miss the WWF days, Hiroshi says. Yep. The, the old ones. Yeah, the old ones were great. When, when they actually... Um, when they actually uh, looked, you know, they actually kept the kafabi or the kafabe going. Yeah, I like ROH. Uh, Eric says, thanks for the antenna reviews. Um, yeah, pff, anything, anytime you're dealing with, uh, like, you're dealing with um, TV service, um, internet service, mobile service they're they're all a bunch of thieves i mean most of the time you're gonna get screwed um so you know you do the best you can i haven't gotten service on this phone i use it strictly for for social networking and it's only through wi-fi i refuse to pay those criminal charges um Let's see. Try fish tacos from Taco John's. We don't have a Taco John's around here. I don't know where the closest one is. Um, but um, I'll, I'll check that out, Batman. I'll go ahead and uh, look on their website and see where the closest one is. I mean, maybe there's, there's one in Portland that I don't know about. Um... OSU fan 69 says Tony pizza rolls or bagel bites. Um, I don't know. I'm not really into either one. Um, probably bagel bites. I like bagels. Have I seen Wendy's on Twitter? They're savages. I saw that. I saw an article about them actually bashing people who say bad things about them, I think it's a really bad idea to do stuff like that. I think it'll really come back to bite them in the butt. Metro PCS phones. Patty says, I'm so ready for bed. Well, Vengeance, if you're going to bed, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Um... Trigonosis81, why did 7-Eleven eliminate their Oreo hot chocolate? Good question. That would be a fine question to ask the CEO or whoever's in charge of putting the stuff out because that was really good stuff. I like that. Now they've got this hot chocolate that, that has like some kind of, it's spicy and it's gross. I don't get it. 
Yes, uh, Chevy, we do have Annie Ann's Pretzels uh, in the Vancouver Mall. We have a location there. And I did do a review. I um, can't remember what I did. Gosh, I wish I could remember. Um, go ahead and check out, go ahead and type in Annie Ann's into the search on my channel. I did one review there and I can't remember what it was for. Are you a fan of Starbucks? No, that's why I call them Charbucks because I, I'm a fan of their marketing. Like I've said many times before, if you can get somebody to millions of people to come to your establishment and pay $5 for a burnt co cup of coffee, your marketing is brilliant. Yes, WWF in the early 90s was great um, and the, the 80s too. I liked it. Um, what do you use to do live? I am using XSplit Broadcaster. Uh, you can get uh, you can get XSplit Broadcaster and XSplit Gamecaster for fifteen dollars for a license that works for both softwares for fifteen dollars every three months. So it's basically five dollars a month every three months, but fifteen dollars every three months. Um, Sweet almond pretzel. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, Scott says, I'm thinking about getting a better clear TV, a scene on TV infomercial. Um, hey, give it a try. You know, the good things about buying stuff is if you don't like it, you can always return it. If it works for you, awesome. Um, can we go to the planet of bacon? I didn't know there was a planet of bacon vengeance, but I'm more than willing to move there. Straight Talk Wireless is a good phone carrier. My wife used to use Straight Talk, but she got a better deal through, um, um, gosh, I can't, she's, she's doing a pay per month type of thing through, I think it's through Verizon. I think she's only paying like $30. And she gets unlimited everything. So they have some kind of plan that you can get unlimited everything for 30 bucks. Do you drink soda? I drink A&W root beer, that's for sure. Um, and then usually maybe uh, I don't drink as much as I used to. Um, every once in a while I'll, I'll slip in a, like a cherry Dr. Pepper or something like that. Cherry Pepsi. I used to love the, the lemon Coke, but they discontinued it. Taylors, yes, I love you. You know I do. House cleaning is a good idea, Kathleen says. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, and and I use the cleanup very sparingly. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes if I got to hit it hard, I got to hit it hard. That's what she said. Um, Santa Claus or Batman? Who would win the fight? Batman. Duh. He would kick Santa's butt. Are you a Simpsons fan? Used to like the Simpsons. Haven't watched much TV anymore. I really don't. About the only thing I watch on a regular basis is Shark Tank and uh, The Walking Dead. Chocolate-covered ants, would you eat them? Um... I don't know. That remains to be seen. What's your favorite M&M from the flavored contest? Oh, um, I did the reviews on those. I don't know if you saw it. I liked the coffee nut best. That was the winner for me. Big surprise there, right? Um, uh, have you had that Reese's cup with pieces? No, I have not. Would you eat a ghost pepper? Um, probably not. Um, I've seen some people eat some of the nastiest peppers, and I just, I just can't do it. That would kill me, kill my stomach, and I'm just not into self abuse. Do you ever eat sushi? OSU fan asks. Uh, I don't. My son does. He loves it. Have you ever been to a disco? Um, I was at Earthquake Ethel's once. Um, I didn't go inside because I was too young at the time, but Earthquake Ethel's was a disco in Portland back in the day. 
and Eric is a walking fan dead or walking dead fan too. Well, see, the thing with crickets, Keith, is the crickets were, it was a cricket flour. It was part of the chip. It was baked in to the chip. Um, if I've got a face looking at me, it's hard for me to chow on something. Yeah, I know Coffee Nut one. I was, I was excited about that. Um, I've seen Big Bang Theory, Trigonosis, um, and it's okay. It's not that great my son loves it and i love everybody loves raymond as you can see i've got the whole series on dvd behind me negan versus the governor who would whoop who um wow i don't know they were both nasty bad guys that'd be a hard one um well i mean it's kind of like you know why would you bring a knife to a gunfight the governor has his gun and Lucille is a bat. I don't see why somebody hasn't taken out Negan with his bat already. I mean, Nick's Rick has had his hands on Lucille a couple different times, and I think he could have whopped his butt, and in the end, his people would have joined up with against Negan. Um... Well, Becky, Bryce didn't eat a ghost pepper, but he ate ghost pepper powder down at the Sausage Shack. That video you can find on the Chaw Man channel. That's crazy. He almost, I mean, he, he was in bad shape because what he did is he took the ghost pepper powder, <coughs> excuse me, and he chugged it and it got stuck on the back of his throat. Okay. Negan versus Santa Claus. Negan has the bat. Santa has what? A present or something? Um, is there a superhero you would like to see get a movie? I'm a Batman fan, so he's already got his movies. What? I, uh, well, I've heard it pronounced Negan and Negan. Um, I think I pronounced it Negan because uh, Reagan... In the Exorcist. But is it Negan? That's fine. Doesn't matter. I've heard it pronounced both. Uh, Santa has the list. That's right. So Negan's been a bad boy. He doesn't get any presents. Um, Tony versus Scooby too. <laughs> Scooby! Or Shaggy. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. It is getting to be 9. I'm going to go for a couple more minutes, then I'm going to have to sign off. Um, have you ever had carne asada fries? If not, you need to try them. They're delicious. Where would I find carne asada fries? I don't think I have. Um, I've had uh, poutine. Stallone versus Schwarzenegger. Ooh, that's a rough one. I don't know. I don't know. Justice Dark League. That sounds like it might be pretty cool. Chevy, I can't. I'm I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. I'm I'm gonna turn in early. I I actually um, streamed uh, ETS two today and did that for about an hour and a half and my my throat is shot. That's why I'm drinking tea tonight instead of coffee. My brother wants to thank you, JB says. Okay, thank me for what? Well, you're welcome, whatever it was. Um, have you had Hostess Twinkies or Snowball ice cream yet? I haven't, Psycho. But um, I may pick some up. Yep. Liam and Connor. Ian K. Ian K is another good one. John from Bite and Chew Food Review. Um... Greg from Happy Man Snack, or not Happy Man Snacks, but uh, Happy Man, I never can remember the last four digits of his channel. Him and his son, they're good guys. Joey's good too. Good night, Scott. Have a good one. What am I going to ask Santa for this year? I don't know. Maybe a new computer. Thank you, Patty. You have a good one. 
Thanks for coming. I appreciate that very much. Okay, guys. Yes, Mr. Happy 0121. I'm going to have to put that in my brain. Um, well, thank you, JB. I'm not, I'm not going to sport it outside this house, though. I will sport my 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 A and W uh, warmy hat, but not that. How often do you live stream? Ashley Meat Locker. I'm planning. I'm planning tentatively to do it every Saturday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I'm going to sign off, drink the rest of my tea, and probably go to bed early. Um, how much is your autograph worth compared to Joey's? I don't know. You'll have to check eBay, I guess. Okay, guys, thanks so much for coming. I really do appreciate you stopping in, and um, I'll try and do this again. And, I, and I'll make a an announcement, and I'll put it out on the social networks, Old Nerd Reviews on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, um, about whether I'm going to do another one next Saturday at 8 p.m., and uh, like I said, we'll probably, if I do, which I more than likely will, we'll do this Ed and Don's Macadamia Pineapple Brittle. I'll review that for you guys. All right. You guys have a freaking awesome day. And thanks for stopping by again. And I'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow's video, Sunday morning, 9 p.m. Pacific. And I'm looking for my outputs. <laughs> there it is. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.